everyone, this is Tyva Littles, and I want to show you something that I learned early on when I first purchased my Cricut in February of this year, 2017. When I first got my Cricut, it was very intimidating. I want to learn how to layer and do different layers, and I couldn't find a really good video to show me how, so I had to kind of experiment on my own on how I can create layers. So my um, I love this picture right here. This will be a good picture to use for this demonstration. It's Autism Heart. Okay, you see that it has a layer of white, a layer of black, and then you have the four puzzle pieces which are different colors. Now, how do you separate this? Okay, I always click simple. I click simple like 90% of the time. No, no particular reason, that's just what I do. But when you click this one up here, and we're gonna take out all the white. And I'm not going to take out all the other pieces because you see the black is the first layer of this particular design. So that's what I want. Go here. So all of this is going to be all black. So another thing I do is I'll put black here, the color, and then the number one. And that lets me know that this is the bottom layer. Okay, click save that. Also, what I'll do too is that I just save an original version of this just so I can add it to my design space but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background and I'm going to save this version and I'm going to put color and I'm going to show you why that's important in a few moments okay so now I have the all black heart and then I have the actual design here so next we're going to go ahead and upload again and we're going to start separating the colors. Okay, so I click my wand. I'm going to take out the white. I've already got a layer of black. My first color is going to be this dark blue color. So I'm going to erase yellow, red, and light blue. Click my eraser. And then erase all of this. And I'll zoom in and actually make my eraser a little bit smaller. And when you're erasing, you want to do short strokes, kind of like do a little bit and then stop. Because if you get a lot erased, do a little bit and stop. And then you make an accident and you have to go back, you're going to have to do it all over again. So get into a habit of when you're cleaning up in design space to erase and stop. Okay. Oh, see, like I cut a little piece off, piece off right there. So... Go in and stop. Okay, so I finished that. So what I also do is I have Autism Heart. I'll put dark blue. And I'll show you why that caught dark blue. And I'll show you how that comes handy when it's time to piece the pieces together. It's all her reason for how I'm doing this. Okay, then we're going to upload my image again. Get the heart again. Click simple. And now all of my layers, I can select the one. I'm getting rid of the white, getting rid of the black, getting rid of the blue. I'm going to do yellow this time. So I get rid of these pieces down here too. Get my eraser. Erase, 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 erase. And two, it helps me when I make the eraser bigger so that I can make sure I have good coverage as far as erasing. Because when you use it small like that, sometimes you can leave like little bits of pieces. So. I'll zoom in on it and get my eraser smaller again. Oops. There we go. Small pieces. And remember to start and stop. Start and stop. Okay, there. So I've done that. And then I'm going to put here yellow so that I can keep up with my pieces. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go again, do the same thing. Bring up my layer. Select simple. Select my wand. And then we're going to do the white. We already did the black. We already did the blue and the yellow. We're going to do the light blue. Click my eraser. And this technique works with most images. Some images you may have to try to play around with. Especially if it's not quite as simple as this puzzle piece. Let me zoom in. Because see, look, I didn't even notice that inside here. You really want to practice with your Cricut and get familiar with the different features and functions. 
Some people like to use other softwares for different projects. I like to try to learn as much as I can about one particular software before I move on to the next. But here is this piece here. So I'm going to put light blue. Save that. So now so far we have the actual piece right here as our guide. We have the black, then we have the dark blue, then we have the yellow, and then we have the light blue. So next I'm going to upload our last piece, which is the red. Okay, so go here, select simple, select your wand, we're going to click that, get rid of the red, the blue, the yellow, the other blue, and then we'll leave left with red. Get your eraser, clean up real good. Okay, I don't know if you can hear her, that's my three-year-old in the house. I'm actually on the porch making this tutorial. And surprisingly, I'm on the porch with the puppy, and the puppy's actually behaving, so you don't hear any dog barking yet. Okay, so get my eraser, make it a little smaller, and clean up a little more. There we go. And I'm trying to make this a short video. I don't like taking up a lot of people's time. I hope I'm not moving too fast, okay? So after we clean up, I'm going to put Autism Heart Red. Okay, save. So now we have all of our pieces. So I'm going to select all of the pieces and put it here. Insert images. And all of them are going to pop up. So over here, you see where I have Autism Heart Red, Autism Heart Yellow, Autism Heart Dark Blue. This is what I use in order to try to keep up with my color pieces. So right here it says that's dark blue and see this is the example. We're not even using this. This is just a guide to try to help to match up the colors. So I click the dark blue and I'm going to have to make my screen bigger. I hope I haven't lost you guys when I made the screen bigger. Okay, so that's a blue piece. It's more of a navy. And then this piece right here is more of a yellow and it says yellow. Okay, and then again, th this is just for visual. It doesn't have to be the exact same color because you're, it's not going to color your vinyl, you know. So this is just for a visual. It doesn't have to be the exact same red or the exact same color because the type of vinyl you choose to use determines that. Okay, so, and then here's the light blue. We're going to use that lighter blue. There we go. And so after you do that, you piece it together so you can get a bit. Sorry about that. I had to pause the video for a second. Um, okay, so here we go. So we piece together. Got about the same colors, about the side, same spacing. I'm going to delete this because that was our guide. And you can make it bigger so that you can edit a little bit more. After I made it bigger, you see I have more of a heart down here and at the top. But this part right here is just for your visual because when you start putting the pieces together, then that's when you have to really pay attention to your layering. So, okay, I got about where I want it. Everything looks like it's perfectly sized. So I'm going to make it to the size that I want. This up here tells you how big you want it. So if I want to do a three by, it won't be a three by three because of how it's, um, how the object is shaped, but I put, I want it three inches wide and it auto adjusts to here. But if you don't want it to auto adjust, you just click the unlock and you do three and see how it's oblong. So keeping the lock on helps your, helps you keep your pattern in, I guess, proportion. So after that, I'm going to click make it. And here it divides all of your boards. We have, how many boards do we have? A total of five, I believe, because we have a black board, then we have a red board, then we have yellow, and then below we have light blue and dark blue. So we have five different boards, and something like this would be very good to do with scraps. And <laughs> I love scraps, so that's why I have a box full. So that's why I use, I, I like things like this because it gives me the opportunity to use my scraps. 
So, okay, everybody, that's how you actually divide up another image. I may try to do another image in another tutorial, but this is pretty much the same concept that you use with probably 90, 95% of your images. So I hope that this video was useful to you, and you guys have a great and successful day.